Roger Stone sent me a text, and I was already aware of it. I mentioned it earlier. We should have made a bigger deal of it. It just broke in the last hour. No evidence of Trump campaign contacts with Russia. The House Intelligence Committee probe into possible improper contacts between Donald Trump presidential campaign and Russia has not found any evidence yet. According to the Republican Committee Chair, now remember, we were told two months before the campaign, we were told on the day of the uh, of, of the inauguration that they had the evidence and it was being given to Congress. And then Congress keeps saying they won't give it to us. Well, they finally gave it to them. It's the same CIA report we saw of four-year-old RT shows saying bad things about Hillary. When they call it hacking, they mean Russians didn't like Hillary. Well, a bunch of other people didn't either, but all the other media, all the foreign governments piled on against Trump. It was 100 to 1 MSM against Trump. That's admitted. 100 to 0 Goldman Sachs donations to Hillary, not to Trump. But we hear he's Goldman Sachs. And they kept saying, Roger Stone's the kingpin. He's with WikiLeaks. He works for Putin. And they were going to have congressional hearings in a month. Stone gets hit with polonium to kill him. He doesn't get the full dose, uh, the uh, CDC believes, but it's polonium. The FBI comes out to his house, Secret Service, all the nine yards, you know, to, to talk to him about it. He wants to testify to Congress, but see, they wanted him dead so they could then have the hearings and blame it on Stone, but he didn't get the full dose. This is incredible. So just as Stone said, for month after month after month, I never met, never talked, no emails, total bull, Manafort total bull. Well, they had to wait till the National Security Advisor on December 15th, General Flynn Talk to the Russians about setting up phone calls with the president in official business. And then he got run out because the Russians said, we want to talk about sanctions. He said, well, you got to talk to the president about that. And they said, well, technically, you said you'd talk about sanctions. Well, of course, I mentioned them, but that wasn't talking about sanctions. So he's gone now. This is unbelievable. So they're saying we haven't gotten the proof. We've gotten all their documents. There's not even phone calls. There's nothing here. But as we've written, there's Hillary getting money directly from Putin. I'm not saying Putin's even bad, folks. That's what right. you're supposed to try to infiltrate other governments and influence them. The point is, it's Hillary. They're the ones. It's coming out everywhere. That's why they said he was the Russian asset, because if anybody is, she's a Chinese communist asset. The guy that exposed all that's in hiding right now. So this is all unraveling. We're going to get Congressman Kurt Weldon, former head of the intelligence community, on to break more of this. He was on last week. So Roger Stone, oh, you're jumping on a plane in like 10 minutes. We're going to go back to calls after that, callers. Uh, but this is this is big. Exactly what you said. There is no proof you want to be before Congress. I think Trump should call for the hearings himself and demand they have them to show what frauds they are. He should also declassify all the documents in this matter. Uh, look, Alex, uh, I'm at the airport here in Miami. I am on my way uh, to uh, Washington to meet with my lawyers. We were anticipating some action against the government because... Uh, as you know, uh, according to The Guardian, the FISA, secret FISA court uh, ordered a warrant into, uh, to uh, approve the surveillance of my text phone, my cell phone, my text, my email, all of my communications reportedly over a year ago. Uh, which is, and, I, and as you know, in the FISA court, no, no probable cause or evidence is required. It's a political Charge. So they've heard us talk about what they really wanted, President Trump and strategy, claiming you were a Russian agent, allowed them, the presidency, Obama, to illegally spy on one of the unofficial uh, advisors of his rival. This is incredible criminal activity. Yeah, no, it's, it's a reverse Watergate in many ways because he was privy to all memos and campaign strategy items that I wrote of my own opinion, all of my uh, private communications, plus all. My personal information, I mean, who doesn't talk to their wife on email? Or Well, remember, you got hacked. You got hacked repeatedly. So so it is outrage. It's a suspension of, the, of our Constitution. As you know, the FISA court rubber stains 99% of the government's requests. This was a fishing expedition. And even the chairman said today that all of the information regarding Stone chases back to media stories. Media stories that report something is happening, but we can't find any evidence that it's Let's be clear. Happened. They report on reports of reports and then in Ring Around the rosy, never say where the evidence came from and then put out a 30-something page report that has YouTube videos on it saying, look, RT did a negative piece on Hillary. That's their proof that we're all Russian agents. Yeah, no, so this is a, this is a giant blow. Of course, anyone who reads my book, The Making of the President of 2016, already knows this narrative, understands, because I, I debunk the entire Russian fraud right there in the book extensively. Uh, the notion that you and I are in the service of Putin, and this is 
an absurdity. It's uh, it's the the new McCarthyism. Well, let me do this. It's, let me do this. Yes. I want to make this particularly clear to everybody. I know privately you've told me you are planning lawsuits. You have to do this for the for the country, for yourself, for Trump, for everybody to get back on the offense. We know this is all a lie. It's coming out. It's a lie. Uh, they need to have these hearings so you can go into Congress and get your good name back. They need to all correct what they've done or tell us who you're going to be forced to sue. Well, here's the problem, Alex. Generally speaking, a great man once told me, don't sue people who buy ink by the barrel. On the other hand, in the new age, everybody has their own cannon. So why not have a war? Uh, you know, I, I frankly think the New York Times and the Washington Post have misrepresented the situation on the basis of no evidence. They were led down a uh, road path by uh, people who have fancy titles in the CIA and others who have higher credibility with them in operations. Uh, and this is a classical, classic uh, uh, intelligence agency, uh, mainstream media setup, particularly with those two organs, which they've had long control and influence in, particularly the Post. And I should add, they are now saying, the head of the Intelligence Committee, Nunes, is now saying exactly what you've been saying for really six months, but it got more intense three months ago, saying, we have communiques, we're stone. <laughs> Manafort and some guy you don't even know are getting direct orders from the Russians and are under Russian command. You keep saying, this is total lies, let me see it. And they always just say they have reports of reports and they never release it. And now the head of the intelligence committee says they have no evidence. It's a pile of news articles all reporting on each other, but no phone calls, no phone calls, no emails, no nothing. Uh, well, what's really amazing, of course, is the other night on MSNBC, I saw some swine named Norm Roscoff predicting that I would be indicted and sent to prison. So, uh, you know, talk is cheap, but all you've got are these uh, battering nabobs of negativism on the far left who, are, who have made this whole Trump-Russia-Putin meme up from the get-go. I mean, I'm not sure what they showed the FISA court to convince them to give them this warrant to do, to uh, violate my civil liberties, but was probably Hillary Clinton press release. Well, it'll all come out in court, and that's the great part about depositions. Uh, we've got to do this, though, because they're trying to bring the president down with these lies, and as Trump keeps saying, release everything. There's nothing here. I don't even talk to the Russians. And the Russians have the GDP of Italy. They've got a powerful military, but that's it. I'm, I'm not bashing the Russians, but... I mean, it's a complete joke when the Vatican and the EU and the Communist Chinese are openly telling us we can't have Trump. The Saudi Arabians give 20 percent of her campaign money. I mean, I really think we need to hear calls from Sessions and others for criminal investigations of Hillary when it's public that she's a Communist Chinese spy. I mean, if they want to make up this lie and get in this arena, is it turnabout fair play uh, when, when, when really she's the agent? All right, I got to hit my gate. I understand you've got to go, Roger. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Bye. All right, there he goes. I got too loud there as he's going to the TSA.